Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? If you guys don't give me a 10 for that, I'm, I'm going to come unglued. That was easily one of the best leather card slaps in the last 100 to 200 uploads. Uh, we've got a short little unboxing. I lost my train of thought. We have a short little unboxing to do today. Um, I know who sent it, but I can't remember what he sent. I think it's something pretty cool, so I'm excited to check it out. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please, make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. What do we have? This was sent by... Hold on, let me make sure. Yes, Lou. My buddy Lou, who has sent actually many things into the channel. Long track record of sending really fun things in that you guys like to watch, like to check out. Stuff that I like to check out. We have, hold on. Well, good. We got a note. That's always good. Always happy to have a note. I think... Did we just do one this time? Yeah, I, I remember. What? <laughs> How do I gain access to this? How do I penetrate the force field? Here we go. Okay, so here's the pouch. And then we got the note here. Hey now, for your handling pleasure. Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. The detent feels light, so I may try to adjust it or just leave it be, but I can't. Uh, oh, oh, it says, ain't she sweet? Okay, your pal Lou. Thank you very much. And also, uh, he's Lucifer in the comments, but his YouTube which you guys should definitely check out, uh, is uh, Lucifer's Blade uh, on uh, YouTube. So make sure that you guys check out his YouTube channel. Subscribe. He's been in the comments for a long time. So this is a new Les George model. Oh, boy, look at that. <laughs> That's so weird. Handling something that feels immediate. I could have my eyes closed. That glassy, smooth titanium finish that he's got. I could have my eyes closed and know this was Les George, but to have it, it's such a different profile. So this is a this is a uh, full on like USA mid tech. This is not like you know something you're gonna find laying around on Blade HQ made by you know Wee Knives or something like that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying we're we're talking about a different tier of knives here. So this is the new MK3 in Magna Cut. I'm gonna play with that again. God, that blade is nice. When I I'm going to throw that blade again, and I'll tell you what I think about um, the action. So this runs on, yeah, phosphor bronze. Les George ha does, he just does magic with phosphor bronze because it, it feels better than what most companies do with bearings. Uh, but you have the benefit of keeping any and all debris out of the pivot. Dude, Lou, I don't know, man. I think this is the, the detent that I would prefer for something that needs to be deployed with a thumb disc. This is absurdly, but I'm still getting the right amount of force, right? I mean, I suppose, Lou, if you find yourself doing this a lot, or you're doing this a lot, then maybe. But for me, mm, this is how I would want it, man. This feels good. This is also bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, dare I say this is more of a tactical design? Do I actually say that? And pretend like I'm being ironic when in reality, I think there's a little less ironic. I think I'm being more sincere. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if I can do this with my left hand. Left-handed uh, reverse flick on a uh, thumb disc running on phosphor bronze. If that doesn't tell you how these things are tuned, I don't know. Lou, I think this is perfect. Uh, the, the ergos on this are amazing. I actually, hold on, let me get out my VECP here real quick. Cause I have the, the VECP V3 that runs on, um, PB here. And I want to just compare here size wise. Yeah. So this guy is, we could probably, you know, we could probably bring the camera a lot closer. There we go. I think it was. It was, it was because we had the box out here. But, um, okay, so this guy is, is it a little longer yet? Yeah, it actually is. Where is my measuring tape? That is always, there is. So the VECP V3 is coming in at eight and a quarter. This guy comes in at eight and a half, so it is half an inch longer. It's got a really big blade, 3.85 inches, 3.75 inches of cutting edge. The detent, between these two. It 
if it is lighter, it's only slightly lighter than the VECP. I mean, this is tuned for, you know, and I, I mine actually might be lighter because um, I just missed that reverse flick there. But I, maybe it's just a little bit easier to get underneath the, uh, the thumb disc. I like it. And you know what? This is one of my favorite knives for ergos, but because of, yeah. So this guy, the clip digs right here. That is an awful spot. And it's the only thing that I hate about this knife is this, blah, like why? Why do we have this freaking water slide bill on it? This uh, is still pretty aggressive, but where it naturally lands is back a, a little bit, back here. It's not so much in here. So this feels a little bit better. And the curvature of the, um, the curvature of the blade feels nice too, or I'm sorry, curvature of the handle feels nice too. Um, I actually really like this. I did not think I was going to like this so much. I really like how that blade looks. I think I would have preferred his tumbled finish, but uh, honestly, the satin finish looks pretty good. He has this in Magna Cut, but I don't know what he's running it to. There it is. It says right there, Magna Cut. I don't know what he's running this to. Um, something I love about Les George is the absolutely enormous fasteners that he uses for the pivot. And then he uses T8 or perhaps even T10. Mine were T10, but I think these, these are T8. Yeah, I think these, I, I think he's using a little bit smaller here and that's fine. Uh, no steel lock bar insert, um, but these don't need it. I think these are carbonized lock faces, completely and totally solid and no lock stick. I think that'll work just fine. Perfectly centered, no detent lash or anything like that. Um, yeah, I uh, I think that's pretty cool. It's not usually, it's not the, the usual aesthetic that I go for. It's just, this is amazing to me to see a new, you know, well, you, however you want to refer to this, a mid tech, a super ultra premium production knife, right? US made. These are small batch. I know people are like, why doesn't he just make more? <laughs> why doesn't he make more? Because he can't. Because he can't pump out 10,000 of these things. He's not Wee Knives. It's just Les George and possibly one other, I don't know. I, I think it's honestly just him, right? He can't just snap his fingers and poop. It's not like Walmart, right? Where it's just like, make more Harry Potter Lego sets, go! Like, it's not the same. That's not how it works. That's why. That's why they're priced that way. It costs a lot of money to do, right? Not a as far as I understand, it's not a multi-person operation, and despite its popularity, doesn't have the same capacity. We're not even talking about Rick Hinderer capacity. It's not to the same scale, right? So we can't just pretend magic because want because want knife, right? It's not no. You have to you have to consider this. Five ounce knife is the information that I <laughs> originally set out to grab before I started arguing with imaginary people. But I know, right? I mean, it's like for like. For every thousand people who get it, there's one person who doesn't, who just some idiot stomps into the knife world and is just like, why aren't the shelves stocked with these now that I just discovered them and decided I wanted one, right? I want it now. Why don't they have it now? You got to get in line behind. There's tons of people have been waiting for trying to get these things for a couple of years, right? The, the VCP, there are people who have missed drops, right? Been waiting in line, have known about it forever, tried and, and were unable to because sometimes they sell out really quick, right? So it's like that video I did a while back. You're not owed immediate availability the second after you realize the thing exists, right? You have to, you got to cut the maker some slack, right? So, could he outsource this thing to China and have a billion of them made? Probably, right? They do the ProTech one. ProTech uh, has the auto versions of these finally stocks now, so you can get the automatic ones made by ProTech. Um, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm every, every maker's different who they will and won't work with for what reasons. It's all different, right? They might have some exclusivity worked out with ProTech. And then Les George likes to make these slowly in his own shop. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just how it works. But yeah, I'm sure that I created more argu uh, arguments than stopped. Um, but eh, <laughs> I've been doing that for, you know, what has it been? 3,600 uploads? I guess no reason to stop now. This is cool. I like this. I did not expect to like this as much. I thought it would just be like, yeah, cool. You know, a weird alternative to the VECP. But no, that's, uh, that's pretty neat. Okay, cool. This is just an unboxing and first impressions. I would love to say that I could link this knife and it's definitely going to be there and you can just buy it. I mean, who knows? Maybe it is. I, if I find a link and it's there, I'll link it, but I, I doubt it, right? Um, so anyways, check the description out if you're looking for links. 
Thanks to Lou for sending this in. Expect a full comprehensive review a few weeks down the road. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.